Tylenol overdoses are some of the worst overdoses to treat. And by the time they actually look sick, you're already losing the battle. You're triaging a 28-year-old male who took a bunch of pills 18 hours ago. He's awake, conversational, is a little bit nauseous, but feels fine completely. Here's what makes Tylenol terrifying for an overdose. Your patient typically won't even look sick until it's way too late and they're in like multi-system organ dysfunction. You see, the clinical presentation happens in certain stages. In the first 24 hours, you actually won't really see much going on. Your patient may be a little bit nauseous, maybe vomiting, but ultimately they will not look very sick. Their labs will even be okay, like their AST and ALT for their liver should be fine. But when we start getting into that 24 to 72 hour range, we start to see the effects develop. Your patient might develop this right upper quadrant pain where the liver is, they may start to look a little bit more sick, and their labs are going to start skyrocketing as well. 72 hours to 96 hours, you start to see this like peak hepatotoxicity for that liver. Your patient might now be encephalopathic as well, being confused, maybe having seizures, or even in a comatose state. This is where you'll start to see that multi-system organ dysfunction, looking at like kidney failure and needing CRT on these patients. Ultimately, they're going to need a transplant. Question for the comments, what medication do we give as the antidote for a Tylenol overdose? Let me know down below.